and I've been able to look at my horses out the kitchen window. It's just like the most beautiful feeling in the world. I say sometimes, well, I'm never going to leave here, not for a choice. I've just, for what I've got here, like, yes, it's a caravan. Um, but I love it here and I love the horses are on my doorstep and we've got space. I just love it here so, so much. I would never leave here unless I've got like a like for like and I would love to buy something of my own, like a bit of land where I put my own caravan on and it'd, it'd genuinely be mine. But whilst I'm here, I'm just going to save as much as possible so that hopefully that is an option for the future of Lowen and myself. Um, I was going to say something else. I can't remember. My brain gone. Um, I'm probably going to have to upload this video in two parts because um, if it's over 10 minutes, it doesn't load onto Facebook. Facebook's a pain in my ass. But anyway, Phil J. Kennedy. So Phil Kennedy is Phil J. Kennedy Art um, is what he's known as if you guys want any commissions done. Phil, you sent me. These are hand-drawn. Look at this beautiful picture of my boy. Isn't that just... I mean, I'm obsessed with my child, as you all know, but look how beautiful my baby is. And that's one of my favourite pictures, and he's drawn that. And then obviously the fave, the fave horse. He's obviously done one of Jack well as well, obviously. I've demanded it, obviously. I say that a lot. Beautiful picture of Jack. So these will be framed and put on the wall with all of my other photos that Phil's done for us. So Phil J. Kennedy Art is what you need to look for on Facebook, guys, if you want any commissions done. They're fucking amazing. So Phil, thank you so much. Um, Nicola Bissett, you sent me some new leggings. I live in leggings, they're the most comfortable things. I wore jeans the other day, I end up sitting down driving, I'm unbuttoning them, they're like pouring out. Like, since I've had low in, I like baggy things. I haven't worn, I think I've probably worn an underwire bra twice since I've had low in. I don't like to feel restricted, it's weird, I don't understand why. But I don't like anything tight around like my midriff, or I just don't like anything tight. I've changed. Nicola, thank you so much for my leggings. But you also sent low in, and we're living in those at the moment as well. Um, the little fleece onesies with the feet attached. So oh, I'm terrible for socks. Like we never wear matching socks, low and I. Um, but I love these. If you come in and he's soaking wet, and I strip him off, I chuck a onesie on him. <coughs> They're warm. And then I have to piss around finding socks because they're all in one. These are brilliant. Um, I brought him three, which is nowhere near enough the amount of times I've got to change my child in the day. Um, and Nicola, you sent me another three, so thank you so much. This one's my fave. He had um, a set like this when he was a little bit smaller and he looked so cute because he was like in the garden. And also, like if he wants to go out, I just put his wellies over the top and then he just goes out. And this looks so cute. It's like a little lumberjack when he's running around the garden in these ones. It's so cute. Nicola, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, and they're just so cosy. Like, I'm terrible for what I'm, I'm one to always stay in my pajamas. So, um, and Lowen now does as well. But you know, when we just get out of the bath, it's just easy to just like chuck that on it. He doesn't sleep in these because he would get too hot, but it's just like that. I've even put his pajamas on underneath and then put these over the top for that extra layer to keep him warm. Nicola, thank you. Um, oh gosh, and oh, 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 so say, oh, guess what else? Guess what else? Someone sent me this, a beautiful tablecloth. Um, it was on the table. Why did I take it off the other day? I took it off because, oh, I had to do some work and um, I didn't want to get, um, why did I take it off? I think Lo was doing um, colouring with pens and, and he has stained it a little bit and I was like, you're not ruining my new tablecloth. But this didn't come with a note and I love chickens, I love feeling all country. This is going to go back on my table in a minute. Um, I also bought Lo some kinetic sand yesterday which he's playing with now and absolutely loves it. Have you guys seen what kinetic sand is? If you haven't, this is such a good thing to get your kids for Christmas. Hang on. It's, um... It's sand, right, but it's magnetic, so it all sticks together and it's not messy and it doesn't stick to your hands. No, and you love it, don't you? Well, most of it's on the floor, to be fair now. Um, but it's not even messy to pick up because you just sort of like grab it and dab it and then it all sticks to each other and then less waste. Um, it's amazing stuff. I bought it from yesterday. I normally buy him like cars and things, do you know what I mean? And like things to play with. I don't normally get him like sensory stuff, so that was, and he loves it, so... I bought that from yesterday from oh, Pound Stretcher actually. They I went to um, Home Bargains and then they opened a Pound Stretcher next door. However, Pound Stretcher, I thought it was like Poundland. It's not. 
It's kind of like not as good as B&M quality. It's a bit better than Poundland, but it's like more expensive than B&M. So basically, don't go there. I think you got to go B&M. B&M is like the all time like for decent stuff at a fair price, like cheaper than normal. So yeah, so we got that for a pound stretcher. It was like four pound. To be fair, let's not whinge at the price of that. Um, but I went in the toy stuff and I just like, I ain't wasting money on these toys. Like they're quite, for what they were, they were expensive and I knew that they wouldn't last five minutes. So I didn't buy any Christmas presents in there. But I did buy my snow spray because they didn't have that in Home Bargains. But I am desperate to go B&M. I'm talking shit. Anyway, um, I got a bag of stuff that came here um, and no note was attached. And now Amy's trying to ring me because I'm not doing meeting her. We've got to do work today to get orders out. She's trying to ring me like, where are you? I'll be there in a minute. So this bag of stuff came and it didn't come with a note. So whoever sent me this amazing bag of stuff, thank you so much. Loving my baggy t-shirts. So you've got me just some nice light t-shirts. Gorgeous. Just, I'm so spoiled, aren't I? And branded stuff. Like, I don't do brands. Um, I'm, a, I'm um, a Primark special or I make my own stuff because I'm loving these and I love baggy tank tops like we sell them as well like on the website um, like you know like the loose fitted oh no am I um, tank tops do you know especially for like bed and stuff so thank you so much I love these also sent Lolo Hang on now, I've got to open it. No, a little jumper. I love it. It's a dinosaur. And it's got like ears. And it says raw. And on the back, it's got spikes. I love this. It's like a bag of tricks. And like Mary Poppins, like a broom. Some lovely socky wockies, which I love. Um, for winter, winter's upon us. And I love this. A little plaque, and the plaque says, Hold on to what makes you feel happy, and if it tries to buck you off, hold on tighter. So, thank you so much. There's no note in here, nothing. So, I'm not sure who sent me this. Um, some people do send things deliberately without a note because they don't want thanks, but I would always show what I've got and if you are watching this I would like you to know that I'm so appreciative for all that you've sent so thank you so so much whoa what do you know how much I love you hello pardon so beautiful isn't it? so beautiful can I have a kiss I know mummy hug mummy hug yeah. You can see Bella out the window. So beautiful. I love you so much. Um, oh, 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 oh. Kath Randall. Kath, you sent, um, you just spoiled us really. Um, you sent Lolo beginning of the month a big box of wet wipes. We go through wet wipes season for everything. So thank you so much, Kath, for that. Kath, you also sent Lolo a, a book. To his collection. It's got ducks in it. Can you say duck? Duck? Ducky. Ducky. Now he's going to sit down and read this book. He loves books. Oh, all right. He, yeah, he's all right. Now. He's going to say trying to pull the chair up. He's too heavy. Kathy okay, also oh, sent low in. Oh, I love this. And I actually, I've got on my, um, I put my basket for Amazon because I'm trying to get things together for Christmas. Um, I put this actually on there for me to get him and then you sent it to him. Um, great minds think alike because Lauren's got a new dressing gown. It's just like grown his rocket ship one. How cute is this? Love it, Kath. Thank you. You sent me some chocolate, some face masks, a hair towel which will actually dry my hair. If you guys haven't got one of these, get one. Like I've got this one well, quite a few now. These are amazing. So you get out of the shower, put your hair, Roll it, pin it, oh, amazing. These are like life, you know? Quite often I jump in the car and I've still got one on my head. They take up less room. 
They're amazing. Kath, thank you so much for my new hair towel. Um, have you also said, I'm just covering the snow spray. This back stretching device, and it's not in there because it's in my bedroom, I've been using it. It absolutely kills, right? When you first start using these, they absolutely kill your back because you're not used to it and it's like they correct your posture. Um, but yeah, I have noticed a difference in my posture. I feel like I'm not so hunched over. This time of year when I'm out doing horses, my back is terrible. And my physio said to me, so it's because you're, you're hunched because you're cold and you're going out with cold muscles and then mucking out so you're not like warmed up. Um, so my back and my shoulders are awful this time of year. So, um, and it's got three levels. So you start obviously quite mild. Uh, wait, no, mummy, ow, do this box. Oh, I don't have a meltdown. So you start on three levels, start on the lowest one. Like I did go like, oh no, I can handle it. You can't, right? You cannot handle the third level straight away. Start on the smaller one, five minutes a day. It kills when you first go on it because you're not used to it. Um, and then after a few minutes, you like relax into it and it's really like, you can feel the benefits. Kath, thank you so much. I have been using it, it's amazing. Why are we crying? What's the matter? Do you want to cuddle? Yeah, you do. Do you want mummy hug? Do you want a mummy hug? Oh, hello. Wee! Oh. Yeah. Aww. Pardon? What are you saying? We're learning to talk, aren't we? I love you. It's because I'm busy, isn't it? I'm just doing a video. I mean, you're crying because you want me to... I don't know what you want, but you want to take me into the other room. But I said you have to wait. Hmm? He's such a good boy. He's so huggy at the minute. At bed and stuff, he literally does not let me go. He wakes up in the middle of the night, climbs on top of me, and hugs my neck. So quickly. All right. I'm going to pause this because I'm going to have to probably do three lots because I ramble. I've just got a little bit. Oh no, now he's drawing on my snow. Lowen, no! Um, let me add on to this in a third video.